doing today. It is perfect weather for staying in and beading. Here it is dull, dark, cold. <laughs> so if you haven't got anything else to do today, get yourself wrapped up warm, get a blanket on your knee and let's get making. So uh, firstly, I would like to say a big congratulations to Leanne and Scott. They're members of our wonderful Totally Beads uh, family and they have just got married at the weekend. So I hope you had an absolutely lovely day. Hope the sun shone for you. Um, yeah, many congratulations. So how are you all doing today? What have you been up to? Did you have a nice weekend? Uh, good morning to Sharon. She says, good morning, creative beadineers. So Sharon's in with us this morning. Thank you very much for joining us, Sharon. Um, so as I say, today we are going to be making some beautiful bracelets. Really easy to do. We're using a little bit of elastic. Um, you can use tiger tail. So if you decide elastic isn't for you, then you can use tiger tail but i really like these on elastic i think they look beautiful and they're very comfortable to wear so we're going to be using some gorgeous glass beads and um, some lovely little crystals and some gorgeous arc beads too so in your kits today you'll be able to make one bracelet up using this design but you will have plenty of pearls and crystals left over so you can change up your design and you can add an extra bracelet into there it's entirely up to you how you want to put these together. I'll show you a couple of ways I've done them. So good morning to Elaine. She says good morning, everybody. Good morning to Frances. She says good morning, everybody. And good morning to Pauline. She says good morning, Natalie. Dull here, but the sun shines brightly here with you. Oh, that's very sweet, Pauline. Thank you very much. Uh, Lucy says good morning, lovely Natalie and everybody. Good morning to Edward. He's wishing everybody a good morning as well. And Caroline saying morning, Natalie and our beading family. Dull, windy and cold here in Brixham. Beading day for me. Good morning to Anne as well. She's saying hello to everybody as is Debbie. She's sending you lots of hearts. Sue saying good morning all. Damp and gloomy here in Staines at the moment. Hannah's saying hello to everybody. Celia is wish wishing you all a good morning. Rachel says good morning everyone. Dull, windy, had some rain earlier in South Yorkshire. Yeah, it's been raining on and off here as well. Um, and good morning to Jackie. She says good morning everybody and Natalie. So I've got lots of you in already. I'm going to take you down on the mat first and I'm going to show you these lovelies while well, a few more of you come in and then I'm going to take you over to the website and you can see the bargains that we have for you today. So I have give you a sneaky peek I think of these. They're very, very gorgeous. Lots of lovely colours for you. You can choose whichever colour you like. We've got an absolutely beautiful one here which is our dark bronze. We've got a gold amethyst, we've got a hematite, we've got this beautiful marble blue, a gorgeous marble purple, and this olive one as well. Now we've called these the Venus bracelets and we've got a fabulous offer for you today. So they should have been six pounds. They are now five pounds 50. So you're getting a little bit of a discount there on them. Um, you're going to get everything you need in your kit, but we've not included the elastic because we assume that you've probably got loads in there already. So if you want to, you can add the elastic in and you can also, if you wish, um, put some large eye needles in there too. I haven't used the eye needles with these. I found it just okay to thread them through with my fingers to be honest there's some lovely large holes but we'll see how we get on if I feel like I could do with speeding up a little bit then I'll probably get my large eye needles out of my kit so uh, Lucy says oh these are pretty um, she also says it was raining here she was meant to go the best this morning but she's rebooked for another day I hope your fairy friend is okay, Lucy. Uh, good morning to Rachel. She said, good morning, everybody. Dull and windy. Um, Nicole says, hi, Natalie and everybody. Mina says, good morning from a rainy Leicester. Um, good morning to Sheila. She says, those bracelets look nice. Debbie says, morning, Natalie and everybody. Miserable day here today. And good morning from Joe and also to Candy, who's all the way in Australia. So thank you for joining us all. Um, Caroline says she's not a green person, but she loves the olive one. 
I'm the same, you know. I think I think the one I've got out today, I'm gonna to be doing um this one, I think. No, I'm gonna do this one. But I'm loving that olive. I'm pointing at them like you can see them when I've took my screen off. <laughs> Let me take you back down again. I'm going to be demoing today with this one, but this is the olive one um, that Caroline is talking about, and it is very, very beautiful. I'm going to take them off so you can have a little look. So just using those arc beads, we've created a really nice focal point, but there's lots of different things that you can do with these. So in terms of design, the way I've put them together, I've done a couple of little sample pieces here. I've put them together just by stringing them on two lines of elastic. And I've got this lovely design here. However, you're going to have a couple of these gorgeous arc beads left over. And you're going to have loads of your pearls and your crystals. So if you wanted to, you could just use two of the arc beads to make a central point. You could face them in. I've done them facing the other way on this. So there's lots of different things you can do. And obviously it's very nice just to have a pearl and crystal bracelet as well. Um, good morning to Janice. She says she's going for a fourth COVID vaccination today in Swansea. So good luck to you, Janice. Hope you're feeling okay after that. Good morning to Pamela. Good morning to Victoria. She says it's cold and miserable in Sandwell. The wind is really picking up here as well. Uh, Lucy says she thinks she likes the blue one. Um, oh no, don't want to get another colour. Well, this is a little bit pinkish, I suppose, for you, Lucy. Um, the blue one's very pretty too. They're entirely up to you, but they are £5.50 and you're going to get lots, so it's your call. Right, let me take you over to the website and you can see them in their glory. Just bear with me. Okay, so you're coming into totallybeads.co.uk. You know you can click on the categories and you can scroll down to video tutorials there or you can click on this big tab here, which shows some of our lovely, lovely previous designs. So here is the Venus bracelet for you today. And as you can see, these are the colors that we have for you. So there's six colors to choose from. We've got beautiful dark bronze, gold amethyst, hematite, marble blue, marble purple, and an olive, all for five pounds 50. So if we click in to whatever colour that you're thinking, you can have a good look at the beautiful products in there that you're getting. So you're going to get one strand of your glass pearl round beads and they're eight millimetres in size. You're also going to get one strand of your crystal rondel beads, which are your four by six millimetres. And you're also getting your arc beads and there is a full pack there for you. I think you get ten in a pack. Yes, you do. So if you need, you can add in your elastic. I'm using the round elastic, um, the 0.8, but you can choose whichever you prefer. There's also some big eye needles there as well if you want them for just 75 pence. So you can have a little look down the bottom, all the individual product items, but you can just scroll here if you know you want to make along with me and see what you get in your kit. So that is your dark bronze. You're getting the same materials in all of the packs. They're just different colours for you. So this one, again, you're getting your one strand of your glass pearl round beads. And they're your 8mm. One strand of your crystal rondel beads and your arc beads too. And that colourway is our very pretty gold amethyst. I think I'm going to be demoing with this one today. I, I think it's just because I particularly love the crystals. Um, they've just got a really gorgeous in them. So if I can click on that one, there your amethyst AB. So your AB is standing for Aurora Borealis, which means they're very, very shimmery, very, very, very pretty. They are by Crystal Heaven and that's a good name to choose for this type of product because they are beautiful. And you're getting 100 pieces on your strand there. So as I say, you're going to have an awful lot of your pearls and your crystals left over. So that one is your gold amethyst. We've also got the hematite. 
and in your hematite or hematite, whichever way you like to pronounce it, you're going to get these beautiful, beautiful, let me show you the pearls. They are a violet colour, so they're very, very pretty. Again, you're getting about 50 beads on there. So you're not going to use them all to make up one bracelet. So you will have some left over. Um, an absolute bargain price for you there. So that one is £6.50. I'm going to check on that because it's reduced from £6. So that should be £5.50. I am pretty sure. Simon, if you're watching, could you update that for me? So that is £5.50 like the rest of them. You're meant to be getting a discount. We're not adding any on. Um, so yeah, pop it in your basket. We'll sort that price out for you. And uh, don't go to checkout just yet with that one. This one is your marble blue. And that one's also particularly gorgeous. You're getting these gorgeous electric green uh, crystal rondels with them. And you're also getting, um, they're called icebergs. So they're very, very frosty blue. Very, very beautiful. And your marble blue arc beads as well. They are particularly gorgeous. I will show you them um, down on the mat. Because again, I just don't think you're getting the colour properly. And they are so stunning. They are two whole beads. So you've got um, a little arc shape to them and you can for two rows of elastic or your tiger tail if you prefer through those and um, they're very nice to use and they're just just really really lovely so they're your precocious check beads i'm loving that colorway as well and what other colors have we got there's so many to choose from you're getting your marble purple as well again five pound fifty you're getting your pearls and your crystals and your arc beads if you want add in your elastic i'll show you them in their little tray they're very very beautiful i love that colorway too and lastly but by no means least is the olive and that is very very gorgeous i'm loving the pearls in that one so for five pound fifty you can make your one of these very beautiful bracelets they're very straightforward to do i'm gonna see what you've been up to in the comments before we get going um so we have lots of people in um lucy has shared the link for you there thank you very much so it's the venus bracelet that we're doing today good morning to ruth good morning to hannah good morning to charlotte good morning to pamela she says she's loving the gold amethyst lucy says it's a hard choice all the colors are lovely um good morning to lou um sue says oh it would have to be between the hematite and the marble purple for your um resident goth Good morning to Pamela. Um, she says she just needs the arc beads in every colour. You can buy them separate. And good morning to Angela. And uh, Brenda says she's sorry she's late. Well, you've not missed anything yet, Brenda. All I've done is shown you on the website these gorgeous bracelets to choose from for £5.50 today. And now we're going to get making. So I will pop them there slightly off the screen. As I say, you can put these together however you want to. I think the arc beads look nice, um, kind of facing inwards and kind of encasing those lovely pearls for you. But if you've got some left over, you might just want to put one in the centre of your bracelet. You might want to put them in the opposite direction. It's entirely up to you. Sharon says she loves the ice blue. Um, Sheila says, question, will there be enough of the pearls and the crystals to make another bracelet if we order the extra arc beads? I would definitely, definitely say so. Um, you're getting, I think it was about 50 on your pearls and on your crystals. I think there's about 100 there. So you're getting a rather large strand. If I get my ruler... You know, you're getting about 17 inches 
of absolute beautiful sparkle so yeah of course you can add in the extra and you can play about with your design as well you might want to add in more pearls you might want to add in less arc beads it's entirely up to you Sheila and these are your gorgeous arc beads as well so you get 10 of these in your kit and as you can see, you've got this lovely little curve to them, hence the name arc beads. And you've got two holes that run through them. And they just, can you hear? They're just lovely. Diane says, morning Natalie, great. Have arc beads for ages, never knew what to do with them. Well, hopefully this will give you a little bit of inspiration. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my elastic. I'm using the 0.8 round elastic. And as I say, if you really want to, you can use the tiger tail instead. All you'll need to do is bring your tiger tail um, through one of your crystals or your pearls, both strands at the end to attach your clasp. So... I'm going to cut myself two large pieces of elastic because you know me, I, although I don't like to waste anything, I um, like to have a little bit extra. So when it comes to tying my knots, I'm not all fingers and thumbs. Let's move them out the way. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my bead stopper onto one end of my elastic. I'm going to leave myself... A little tail there so I can hold on to that later and I can move them up if need be so I'm going to position both strands and I'm going to do two strands at the same time just feel it will speed me up a little bit just going to chop off that end there so I'm going to start off with adding one of my gorgeous crystals onto each strand so just going to open up my pearls and I'm going to open up my string of crystals. So I'm going to pop on. Let's so say you can use your large eye needle if you want to. But you've got really nice um, sized hole running through. So, so far, I tend to just do it with my fingers. You might want to check on some of your pearls. There might be a little bit of coating and covering um, covering some of the holes. So I am going to get one of the needles out just in case because I can always give that a little bit of a poke through if I need to make sure that that is running clear. So first of all, I'm popping on one of my crystals onto each strand and then I'm going to start with one of my arc beads. So I'm going to position my arc bead on in this direction so this time i'm coming through the curve at the back so they're like little bracket shapes i suppose and i'm going to run just one of those on but using both ends of my elastic so my elastic is running through then I'm going to add on another crystal. As I say, it's entirely up to you how you do this design. You can add them on in whichever order you choose. This is just the way I like to position mine. So on with another crystal. Then I'm going to go for one of my pearls. So slide that onto the top row and another pearl onto the bottom. Then I'm going to add on another crystal onto each one. And then I'm going to come in with another one of my arc beads. But this time, I'm putting it on in the other direction. It doesn't matter if it's this way up or this way up. They're exactly the same all round. I'm just going to have it, sorry, where it is facing with the arch along the back this time in the other direction, if that makes sense. And this way, 
I'm just going to create this little pattern and this little design where it looks like I'm encasing my gorgeous pearls and crystals inside that arc. Do I need to move these up out of the way? Should I move up a little bit? There you go. And now I'm going to add on another crystal onto each one of my strands. And then again, if you want to make it longer, you can add on more pearls, you can add on more crystals, you can do whatever you want. But I'm now going to add three onto the top row and I'm going to add three onto the bottom row. And I'm adding three on because just think odd numbers look aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> Caroline says, you've done it again, Natalie. The sun has come out now. It's not here. It's got a little way for it to come from yours to mine, though, hasn't it? <laughs> um, Lucy says, she's not very good with elastic, but I'm going to have a go at this. It's pretty. The elastic, as I say, I really like. Um, I'm just going to run my needle through that one. I mean, I could add it on my needle and then pull it through. But I'm just running the needle through just to see if there's a little bit of a blockage there. There you go. So I do like using the elastic with this. It gives it a nice little stretch. So they're really easy to put on. They're really, really comfortable to wear. Um, and, you know, you're not too concerned about size and fit. If you make it a little bit smaller, it will have a bit of a stretch in there. I always pop a little bit of glue or a little bit of nail varnish onto my knots just to give it that extra bit of security. Um, and, you know, I don't think I'm the best with knots either. I always do the same kind of knot on each thing. I, I haven't had any issues with them coming loose or snapping so far, touch wood. Um, but, you know, if you really don't want to use the elastic, you can do this with tiger tail. As I say, all I would do is when you've finished your pattern and design, you need to bring both of your tiger tail ends through one of the crystals or one of the pearls, and then you can attach your clasp with your collot and your crimp bead as usual. But if you've got an elastic one like this, there's no kind of start or end to it it's got that lovely continuity running all the way around so i prefer this design with the elastic but that's just me okay so i've added on my three pearls and then i've popped on another crystal and now i'm just going to repeat so all i'm going to start off with again is the arc bead and i'm gonna bring that so it's now kind of facing away if that makes sense. So the curve is on this side towards my beads and my crystals. Then I'm going to add on another crystal. This is going to be my pattern repeat, but you know, I keep saying you can do whatever you want in terms of your design with this. You might have a different idea how you want to put these together and they might look beautiful and that might work for you. I'm going to do these little kind of clusters where I use my um, arc beads probably three times. Again, there's a tiny little bit of coating on my pearl. So the tiger tail would go through really very easily. The pearl sometimes will struggle to go on the um, elastic. If it does, you've got that many on your strand, you can just pop it to the side and pick up another one. It's not the end of the world. You can also pick up your strand of pearls and give them a little wiggle while they're on that thread. 
and that can sometimes loosen it up a little bit as well. So a pearl onto each one through the hole and out the other side. And then I'm going to add on my crystal again onto each strand of my elastic. And then I'm going to finish off with one of my arc beads. Patricia says, good morning to you, Natalie, and my beading family. Um, Sarah says, good morning, everybody. And Charlotte says, the colours are lovely. They're very gorgeous. Okay, so I've just repeated that again. And now I'm going to add on my crystal. I have had a message, but I haven't got them up on my screen at the moment. I can hear them coming through my phone. So I am going to refresh the um, web page and just check if that price has been amended. Yes. So your gold amethyst is back to its should be price of £5.50. So they're all £5.50 today for your gorgeous kit as i say you are getting enough in here to make one bracelet up using this design you will have plenty of beads and crystals um your pearls and your crystals left over so if you want to add any more of your arc beads in you can do if you want to make another bracelet up using a slightly different design or maybe just doing one with the crystals and the pearls you can do you might want to make yourself a little pair of earrings to match using them the possibilities are endless so three pearls onto each strand of the elastic again it's a very very quick quick make Oh, Mandy says, can I say a big thank you to Totally Beads? I ordered Friday wire kit and I got it on Saturday morning. Oh my God, Mandy, that's amazing. Um, well done, Totally Beads team. You are super quick and well done to our postal service as well because that's just <laughs> incredibly fast. So hopefully, Mandy, you enjoy doing the wire work. I've seen a few of you already giving it a go. I'll be honest, when I've seen you share it on the um, Totally Handmaid's page, I was thinking, they got their speedy. Not only have they arrived from being ordered, what day did we demo that on? Was that Friday? Um, yeah, they've already been made. So lovely to see your attempts at them. Okay, so I have finished with my crystal and I'm going to add my third one on. Now, I'm only going to do three of these given my wrist size. But, you know, you might want to add in an extra one of these little clusters. It's entirely up to you. So, again, I'm going to add on a crystal onto the top. I just love doing... A simple project a little bit of bead stringing you know even if you are um a seasoned jewelry maker and you can do all sorts of stitches and designs using a variety of products and you can do really complicated gorgeous makes everybody at some point always wants to come back i think to something nice and easy and just enjoyable to do you know there's nothing tax in here i'm not having to count beads or you know anything like that i'm not using any tools you can use the needle if you want to i'm just using my fingers and i'm just nicely and comfortably threading on my gorgeous arc beads my beautiful pearls my lovely shimmery crystals and i'm being able to make this really, really quickly. You know, I think I've been doing this probably about 10 minutes and I would say we're, we're almost done. Um, so I've added on what I want to be as my, my last little cluster with the arc beads. And I've started, 
at the beginning with a crystal. So all I'm going to need to do now is add on a crystal onto one. And then my three pearls. I'm not going to need to add another crystal on because that will be these ones that will make that kind of finish my pattern off there. So again, take my pearls. And these pearls are going on nice and easy. As I say, every now and again, you might get one with the beautiful colour finish just slightly over one of the holes. But more often than not, as you can see, I'm just picking them up and threading them on with ease. And again, this is what I like with the elastic because, you know, it's it's rubbery, it's sturdy, but also you can use that really easily to just add on your gorgeous pearls and your crystals. So for me, that is the size that I want. If you want to, you can add on extra crystals, extra pearls, extra arc beads, and you can make that longer if you need to. Oh, Charlotte, thank you so, so much for the stars. Um, Caroline says, the arc beads are wider, so it would fit with the bigger beads better. Oh, I think that's in reply to Janice. Um, Janice asked, are the arc beads similar to the crescent, please? Well, there you go, you've got an answer there. Um, she also says, also the holes are on top with the arc beads. Um, as they are on the sides of the crescent. And Lucy says I've got tiny little wrists. I'll show you these again. So they've got that lovely curve to them. Let me get in the middle. There you go. And you've got two holes that run. Well, I mean, you could say that was the top, but for me, they're the side and they just run through that way. OK, so when you're happy with the size that you've got, I'm going to take off my bead stopper. I'm going to bring these two tail ends together and pop my stopper back on there just to stop anything falling off. And then I'm going to tie my first knot to bring in these two together. So I'm going to make sure my beads are nicely in position. I'm doing one over one side and then another of the other over the other side so left over right and then right over left i'm just holding down with my fingers to keep those beads that crystal and that pearl close together and then i'm gonna add in my extra one there and then to finish off i just cross one over the other doesn't really matter which one you do so i'm gonna do my left over right and I'm just going to wrap that round twice. Again, making sure that elastic is nice and tight. And then I'm going to give it a little pull. And I am going to add a little bit of nail varnish or glue onto that. So what I always say is if you're using glue, any jewellery glue will do. Make sure you're just putting a teeny tiny bit onto there. So take a cocktail stick or something small, <clears throat> excuse me, tickling my throat, and pull in those strands of elastic to make that knot tight as I just coat it. If you're using clear nail varnish like I am, make sure you wipe off the excess because you only need a little bit. And the good thing is the brush will help. I just put a little bit on my pearl there. So I'm just going to give it a little wipe off. And then I'm going to leave that to dry. And now I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. So I'm taking my two strands of elastic. I'm giving it a little pull just to check that all of my beads and my pearls and my crystals are all sitting nice and flush next to each other. I'm going to do my first one. So I think that was a left over right. And then I'm going to do it right over left. And I'm just pulling down as I go with my fingers. So I kind of hold it like this. 
So that's my first knot and just keep it tight to when I bring that next one in. And then taking one, doesn't matter which one, done right over left this time. I'm gonna give it a double wrap to tighten that up. And with the clear elastic, you're not really gonna see those knots too much. Um, I'll always use that towards, you know, where that towards the, the underneath of my wrist. Again, I'm taking off the excess on my glue or my clear nail varnish. Just going to hold those strands away from each other before I just take my brush and I dab a little bit onto that knot just to seal it together. And when I'm confident that's dry, and then I'm just going to come in. Now, you should probably use your scissors, but I'll be honest, I tend to use my wire cutters, which is probably why I've loved them quite a lot, because I use them for all sorts. But I think with the wire cutter, I just get a nice, close finish. So I'll just trim it right close up to that knot. Uh, Lou says, how long will elastic last before it snaps? Needs to be re-threaded. Um, as I say, Lou, I've not really had any issues with it snapping. What I would suggest is in order to take care of your elastic, pop it in a little plastic bag. So what I get is when I order a kit from Totally Beads, I get my gorgeous pearls and my crystals and it comes in a little baggie and I've started to collect these because if you're anything like me you've probably got quite a lot that you've purchased these are brilliant they're like little ziploc bags they're not ziplocs they just seal at the top but what I will do then is when I've used my beads I'll pop them into something else if I've got any left over and then just gonna pop my elastic into that it fits perfect take out the air and seal that up this is going to make sure that you get an awful lot more use out of your elastic because it's not going to dry and it's not going to go brittle. So for me, I don't find it's ever an issue, but that's because maybe I look after mine. Um, Lucy agrees. She says, always keep elastic in a bag. Um, other size. Otherwise, after some time, it will start to go brittle and snap. So there you go. Great minds there, Lucy. So he says, I was thinking, I'm sorry, I was talking to a friend last week and recommended your site and some of the elastic bracelets as she wanted ideas to keep her granddaughters entertained through the holiday. Thank you so much, Sue. This is a perfect, perfect um, project to do with beginners because you can see it's so easy. Right, I'm holding on to those ends because they're not dry yet. But this is my finished bracelet on. It's really comfortable. This is the perfect size for me. Um, but it's got a nice stretch. Look at it. It's so comfortable. And these beads, um, your arc beads, they just fit nice and flat against your wrist. So I love them. I think, as I say, they're very, very easy to do. Um, and Lucy has agreed, she says, there's many great elastic projects on the video tutorial part on the website. So do check out all of our gorgeous makes. You can search by um, type. So if you know you want to use an elastic, you can just click on elastic and it will take you through to a whole host of beautiful um, bracelets and things that we've made using those materials. So there are your gorgeous bracelets. As I say, you've got this gorgeous um, bronze one, which is your dark uh, bronze. The bead stop has also been added to the web page. So if you're looking for that, they are 99 pence. So this is your Venus bracelet in dark bronze. We've got the beautiful gold amethyst. The hematite is now taken over to be one of my favourites. I just think those gorgeous kind of lilac-y coloured pearls just look gorgeous against those darker crystals and arc beads. We've also got 
the beautiful blue marble for you. Your marble purple. And your absolutely stunning olive as well. I'm not even in shot there, am I? <laughs> Did you see them? Was I hanging them off the side of the camera? <laughs> um, Sue says, I put my completed set on individual bags, so I only have to find anything once. I'm recycling loads of the COVID testing once from the care home. I think, you know, I don't like wasting plastic. Um, I think having these little baggies come in use for all sorts of things. I've got everything in a little plastic bag. I've got findings in plastic bags. I've got jump rings in plastic bags. But I, I agree, when I've finished making something, so these will all go into a little bag now and I'll be able to find them with ease when I take them back down to the warehouse so they can go on display there. So these are your absolutely gorgeous colours. Six to choose from, all are £5.50. I mean, they might look really lovely if you layered them up like that. Well, then let me just line these properly. You could make a big, big cuff. And Charlotte agrees, they're just gorgeous colours. So, that was it. Short but sweet, with plenty of time to go. We've um, raced through that one. But they are very quick makes. As I say, brilliant for beginners and lovely if you just want a day like today where you just sit inside, relax and make some lovely, lovely, easy jewellery. Um, you are very welcome, Lucy. She says, really lovely. Thank you so much for showing us all of these. Um, and Mina also recycles her plastic bags from Totally Beads, which is great to hear. So I'm going to be with you again on Wednesday. Uh, lucky you, you've got me all week. Um, we are making because we've got time, I might as well show you up right now. Um, so we've done little crisscross bracelets before using the split rings, and they were really popular, and I really loved making them. So I took that idea, and I've took that design again, but this time I've just added some beautiful beads. I'm sure a lot of you will recognise them. And in not making bracelets this time, we're going to make some necklaces. Look at them all together. Now, I've made them individually, but when I put them on my bust, I just love, I love them together. So, in terms of making a multi one, look at them. They're like sweeties. Um, so, they're going to be really, really easy. Again, if you're looking for a project to do with little ones, this one might be for you. If you're looking at doing something with beginners or you want an easy make, these ones are for you. I'm just going to be using some rat tail, some split rings and some gorgeous shiny miracle beads. Um, so, please join me on Wednesday for that. Lucy says, oh, wow, look at the pink one. Um, so, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a very nice morning and you continue to have a very, very lovely week. Um, stay safe to everybody. And I will... <laughs> Can I show you this off, Jo? She just goes, ooh. So, I know I'll be seeing Jo on Wednesday. If um, she can't watch, I'm sure she'll be there on the catch-up. So, um, yeah, I look forward to being with you on Wednesday. Wednesday for that. So have a lovely, lovely rest of the day, everybody, and I will see you then. Lots of love and 